If you didn't know any better, you'd say it was spring outside. It hardly feels like November. Yeah, this is not a typical first half of November. Right. Here we are coming on the middle of the month, and it's been almost every single day several degrees above average at least. We've had right. a couple of 70 plus, and we get another warm batch all this week you know it's it warm is a relative term this time of year you still need to coat at night sort of thing but right. 60 is possible for silver bells on friday i can't believe it yeah well we're gonna get a nice dose of reality i'm talking a little bit of snow possible oh boy this weekend yeah. i guess it's about time it uh, is that yeah, time of year yeah, it's not a lot but we'll explain don't worry have a look at our temperatures now it's still very mild 53 in Lansing, down to 49 in Ithaca, but low 50s after a day in the upper 50s. We don't get very cool tonight. The main reason we have this nice southwest wind bringing in a little bit of that mild air. It's not very strong, but it will help our temperatures to kind of moderate. Meanwhile, zooming out, there it is, you know, 60 degrees in parts of Iowa, northern Illinois. That warmer air is just kind of coming on in, going to keep that cool air up north away from us. So tonight, on top of that, cloud cover. We're seeing increasing clouds across most of lower Michigan. No rain in sight, but increasing clouds. Clouds at night help us to trap in some of that heat. So we only get to about 40 tonight, and we stay very mild in the upcoming days. And your weather headlines, there it is. A warm week. Again, warm is a relative term this time of year, but when we're talking, you know, 10 plus degrees above average, I'd say that's warm for mid-November. But then, a cold weekend. We get a nice dose of November reality and a chance for even snow. Yeah, rain and snow in your weekend forecast. Rain, I'm thinking late, late Friday, possibly after Silver Bells. I hope it holds off, right? But then some more rain all through Saturday. A snow mix is possible Sunday. Temperatures really plunge, so we might see a few of those snowflakes flying around. In the meantime, nothing quite so exciting. We're talking about dry conditions, but increasing cloud cover tonight, so don't expect a lot of sunshine in the coming days. Uh, through tonight and Tuesday morning, Mostly to partly cloudy skies, maybe a peak of sun here or there. We have this weak cold front coming through tomorrow. It'll bring a little bit of a dip in temperatures for Wednesday, clears away our cloud cover there. And to Wednesday, we'll see a little bit of that sunshine return by Wednesday afternoon, but it's not going to last. More clouds come in through Thursday. Clouds, yes. Rain, no. Not until probably this weekend, maybe late Friday. So we got several days of that. But look at our temperatures. Well above average, normal highs, mid to upper 40s. The highs we're going to be getting mid to upper 50s and then 60 plus Thursday, Friday, and then boom, highs in the 40s. That's this Saturday. Very big dip in the temperatures there. 40, your low tonight, partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy at times. Same thing for tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy. 58 degrees, your afternoon high for uh, Tuesday. Tuesday night down to 42, mostly cloudy again. Mild conditions, that southwest wind really helps us out. In your seven day forecast, dry midweek. Dry most of the week, really. Friday is a bit of a turning point, though. Warm and windy. Very windy. Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday, too. Gusty, blustery weekend. Rain likely Saturday. Rain likely Sunday. But given the temperatures, I wouldn't be surprised to see a few snowflakes Sunday and Monday. Now, the thing is, it's still many days away. But right. Silver Bells Friday, you know, maybe a couple of hours difference. I'm hoping that rain holds off. I know you'll be tracking it for us and keeping yeah. an eye on it. That's